draft right around the corner. I wanted to take a quick look. What exactly makes the draft so hard? Why is it so difficult? Why is it such a crapshoot? I want to speak a little bit from my experience. I was with the Washington Wizards for six years total, and no, the video coordinator doesn't have a whole lot to do with the draft, so I won't claim to have had a big role there. I will admit to falling asleep once or twice in the war room, excuse me, in the video room, but you won't see those pictures. Sorry, Brett. Sorry, Landon, because this is my video, ultimately. In the war room, though, I did get to witness how decisions are made and what exactly happens in there. Jan Vesely was drafted, sadly, during my first year as an intern. I can't say I was a huge fan of that pick, but people do kill Ernie Grunfeld for that and ignore that the picks after were Bismack Biombo, Jimmer Fredette, and so on. Draft revisionists also ignore that almost every mock around the time of the draft had Jan as a top seven or so pick, and also love pointing out that the late great Flip Saunders loved Clay Thompson, which was true, but ignored the fact that he also loved Jan Vesely, also true. The next year, we took Bradley Beal, which people today look at as duh, but those same people tend to forget there was a strong push to take Harrison Barnes or even Terrence Ross over Beal. Even a high-ranking front office member who's now a part of another very successful front office wanted Ross over Beal. I'm proud to say I strongly disagreed with that take, and I was a believer from day one. I did think Kendall Marshall was going to stink and couldn't do anything with his right hand, but I'll also admit I had no idea Damian Lillard was going to be this good. I learned from my mid-major skepticism, though, and the next year I was a big proponent of trading down to get C.J. McCollum. But when that didn't happen, I made the mistake of overestimating guys like Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Ben McLemore, and underrating the consistency of an auto porter. Moral of the story, draft is a massive crapshoot. Despite the advances, advances in technology, information, video, we still have Dragon Bender going forth, Mario Zonia, Josh Jackson, and who knows what makes guys like Nikola Jokic, Draymond Green, Isaiah Thomas, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis, massively outperform their draft spot. Does being slighted have something to do with it? Does being doubted lead them to work even harder? Does complacency end up leading to guys like Julia Okafor, Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, Derek Williams not being as good as everyone expected? Bottom line, it's about how hard you work from day one. Every single day you're in the organization is about busting your rear and working as hard as you possibly can to become a success. Most of your career is ultimately up to that in addition to what kind of system you're in, the coaching you have around you, then putting you in the right spots, so on and so forth. Guys like Bennett didn't quite get it, didn't stay disciplined enough. Derek Williams, some questions about the work ethic. You need to have the Mamba mentality to understand again that each day you have to be consistent with your approach and go all out every single day if you want to have a chance to be successful at the top level. Anyone that says they can tell you definitively how good a prospect is, they're lying. All we can do is guess, but again, the work ethic, the situation, will have a long way towards determining how good a player ends up being. Thanks for watching. Why is drafting so hard? Make sure you follow on Twitter at Scout with Brian, and please hit that thumb up button, hit that subscribe button, a whole lot more. Draft videos coming soon, in addition to the reports I've already done on John Moran, Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett, Jarrett Culver, and DeAndre Hunter is coming real soon. Thanks for watching.